plight of the Grand Western Canal. Once we had a fine canal, it had a path beside it where narrow boat would skim the surface with a horse to guide it. Two centuries it had survived, come whether foul or torrid, but in November 2012 there happened something horrid. The skies went black and rain did pour for several days and nights, and mighty winds were gusting, causing many dreadful plights. The old canal got very full, a little leak was sprung, and worse it got, and bigger, much too serious to bum. The high embankment holding it, quite close to Halberton, became a place of great concern, most of all to Farmer John. Well, the mighty torrent still did fall and the poor old banks were heaving and Farmer John could take no more and thought he'd best be leaving. And with a crowd of onlookers stood there with fingers crossed, on Wednesday the 21st, that embankment, it was lost. The earth did move and came a cry of, there she goes, stand back, as many tons of water, fish and a couple of ducks, quack quack, came pouring down with mighty force like the Niagara Falls with hundredweights of Devon mud and grass as I recalls. Well it was very clever that the Grand Canal's good rangers had thought to put some sandbags in with help from friends and strangers. So luckily there's still some water back at Tivy Bowl where once that old embankment stood there's now a dirty great hole and either side within the dams the old canal lies bare with its dark clay lining looking up and bits of tableware and odds and ends that had fell in, ne'er to be seen again. Which goes to show you can never tell, nothing is quite that plain. Well, Halberton was national news and had its moment of fame and they interviewed Ken Browse but couldn't pronounce his name. Well, that's the end of that sad tale. So without more ado, the one canal we've had for years has now been cut in two.